Hey what's up guys welcome to another tutorial of PHP and MySQL series and in today's video I'm going to teach you that how you can insert data by sending an AJAX request to our server and save that data in MySQL database. So in this video we are going to create a form and we will insert that form data into MySQL using AJAX. Without any delay let's start. <music> So as we know that in the previous video, we created these two files in text.php and a request handler that was returning some text to our browser. So first of all, you can see that this is our previous code. I would like to use this code. And before starting the video, I would like to add bootstrap so I can design my form easily. So first of all, I will open my browser and I will search here like bootstrap w3schools.com and forms. I will open this first link and suppose I would like to use this form. So I will click on this try it yourself. And first of all, you can see that it have provided us the bootstrap CDN. I can copy this link and I can paste that link inside the head section and similarly I will copy this link from here and paste this at this position by adding these two links it means that the bootstrap is added to our project and similarly what we have to do I have to copy this container element from here and open your index.php file and I am going to paste at this position and now I will open my XAMPP server by clicking on this and you can see that the XAMPP server is started in my case but maybe you will see a window at this position you just have to start apache and mysql server after opening the XAMPP i know you will be aware of this because i have already teach you that how to start your server your local server so i'm not going to teach that much about in this video so next what i have to do i will type here localhost forward slash our folder name was ajax so i will type here ajax and press enter i will zoom out my page a little bit and now you can see that this get data what i i'm going to do is i will copy this id from here remove this button from here and i'm going to give this id at this position like id is equal to get data now what does it means that before the on click listener was set up on our button at this position but now because i have assigned that same id to our this submit button which is in our ui this is the button and now when you user will click on the submit button so we have set on click listener to this id not this button so it means that when user will click on this submit button the code that we have right at this position will be executed i means the request will send to our server and what we have to do is i'm going to remove this remember me because we are not going to implement that here you can see that we have id email uh, I can make it unique like fg underscore email or fg email in camel case and similarly I'm going to type here like fg next what you have to do here you will type here another key like data and inside this you have to store an object object of the data that you want to send to your server so first of all i will copy this email and paste here similarly i will type here colon and again i will paste there remember that this email is the variable that we have defined here and we are getting value from our input field using jquery and this is the key that we have defined by ourselves and this key will become usable in our request hyphen handler.php as we will receive data I mean user email through this key you can also change the name of this email like you can type here so to avoid you from confusion I will type here like my underscore email 
or my email like this similarly i will copy and paste this and i will copy this variable which contain the password that user will be entered and paste at this position but i will convert this to a little bit different key like my pass or my password these two keys will be used in our request handler.php so now here uh, what i will do as we know that we are using a get method i will use post method because we are submitting data on our, to our server and what i will do i will echo this dollar underscore post and simply i will copy this my email and paste at this position and echo br similarly or let me comment this or directly type here echo pre and print our dollar underscore post we can print this whole super global to check that if we receive data to our server or not uh, the reason why i'm using pre tag because it will make your data in a structured way otherwise you will see your data in a single line but if we'll use pre you will see a structured output in your console so first of all what i'm going to do i will refresh this i will press f12 and here we are getting an error let me ignore this and from here as we know that we have a network tab here in the console i will refresh i will type some data and when i will click on this button nothing is happen i need to check this okay i have found the problem the problem was we have to type here comma as we are putting comma after each key and value and we know that this object is a value so that's why we have to add here a comma to maintain the sequence of our this object okay so what we have to do i will refresh this and here i will again type here find gap and some password and when i will sub first of all i will click on this icon to delete the previous files record and now when i will submit this button you can see that request handler.php under this network tab when i will click on this you have to click on this response tab and you can see that the data that i was inserted through my phone is successfully uh, reached to our server and because we are just printing that data that's why the same data is coming to us through a response and as we know that in our code in the previous video we just displayed that data inside our div that we define here but now we are not going to that we are going to save this data into mysql server so what we have to do i will type here localhost forward slash php my admin we know that we have a database named find gap in which we have students tbl students what i will do i'm going to just modify this table i will create another field after phone number and the field name would be password and i will change the type to text no length just i will directly save this and now you can see that a password field is created here next what we have to do i will create another file here not file but first of all i will create a folder here like db inside this i will create a file like database.php here i will type a php opening tag and i will type here like connection is equal to mysql connect and inside this we have to pass four parameters the first one would be localhost the second one would be username because by default the username of your xamp would be root and similarly uh, a password this would be mpt and our database that is currently fine gap and here i will press semicolon as we know, know that that request handler is the file that deal with the request that we are sending through ajax so first of all i will comment this because we need to use this connection variable inside our request handler what we have to do we have to type here like include once and we know that first of all in this directory we have a folder named db so i will type here db forward slash and database.php 
the file that we have create to connect our database so we have include that file and similarly what we have to do I will click on this SQL and click on this insert because we are going to insert data I will copy this complete SQL query and type here SQL is equal to type double quotes and press semicolon paste here and from here ID will be auto incremented so I'm going to remove this we, we require only name and password so that's why I will remove the remainings similarly we have to remove all the default values from our query and here what we will do I will type here like email is equal to dollar underscore post I will press here semicolon copy and paste this again and the second variable I will create for a password from the index.php as we know that the email will be stored in my email email key so I will copy and paste that at this position and similarly I will copy this my password and paste at this position now we know that user email will be stored in email variable I will copy this from here click here type single quotes paste this variable similarly press comma single quotes again copy your password field paste here and now we have to run the query I will type here mysqli query and our connection variable that is stored in database.php at this position and the second parameter we have to pass in this function is our SQL query that we have right and we have to type here if run if means that if data is successfully inserted to our database what we have to do I will create a response here or what I will do I will type here like response and it will be an array like first of all it will be simply an empty array then what we will do we will type here response and inside this we can declare a key like status is equal to true else here I will copy and paste this line here otherwise status would be false if because of some reason our operation will become uh, unsuccessful we will store false value to this array and in the last what we have to do we have to just type here echo json encode response and first of all I will press semicolon so let me refresh this and from here I will open this like this from here I will again type like Numan12345 I will submit this first of all I will remove this from here let me submit and first of all I will check my response so you can see that in my response we have a JSON status true and when I will click on my database and if I click on this browse you can see that the name and password is inserted successfully but what we have to do we have to display this status to our user so user can get informed that either the data has inserted or not to do that we can just do a simple thing that here we will receive that response I mean this JSON in this variable data uh, this will done automatically by jQuery so what I will do I will search here like how to json decode in javascript and from here yeah json stringify okay this is to convert that we need to search json decode in javascript i will open this first link and from here i will simply copy this json dot parse which is a built-in function of javascript i will pass my data here and I will create another variable like let response is equal to I will press here semicolon now let me and next what I will do I will simply type here I will grab this ele element or I can also name this like status or let me name this status bar I will simply copy this ID from here and here I will type like dollar hash paste that ID here and next I, I will type here dot text is equal to response 
dot status yeah you have to type here status the key that we create at this position so let me run this again and now this time i will store here like dummy name and a dummy password like 111 you can see that when i will submit so you can see that the status true is printing we can also made some modification here like i will create a if statement here like if response dot status is equal to true what you have to do that inside the status bar element you have to put some text that data inserted successfully otherwise what we have to do if status would not be true definitely it means the status would be false and we can display that there is an error data not inserted so that's it let me refresh and here i will type another name like john 22222 and i will submit this you can see that a notification that like data inserted successfully and you can notice that your page will not be refreshed because we are sending data using ajax and if i open my database and i click on this browse tab you can see that the john and the dummy name the data that we were inserted before so friends this was the technique that how we can insert data using ajax to our mysql database uh, using php and ajax in the next video i will show you that how we can retrieve this data and display that on our web page and we will do this using jquery maybe we will create a button here like get data and then we will get that data from server and display that data on our this website if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching